The Pope's welcome was warm, but this visit was about repairing deep wounds. At the site of a former Catholic residential school, where for decades indigenous children were separated from their parents, abused and neglected, finally, the words Canada's indigenous community has sought for generations. I am here because the first step of my penitential pilgrimage among you is that of again asking forgiveness, of telling you once more that I am deeply sorry. At least 150,000 Indigenous children were forced into church-run schools in Canada. Malnutrition was rife. Children were physically and sexually abused. The last of these institutions only closed in the 1990s, and many survivors came to hear the apology in person. Our languages were suppressed. Our culture taken from us. And our spirituality denigrated. Our spirituality denigrated. You have heard the devastation that followed from the way our families were torn apart. Hundreds of unmarked graves have been found near former homes, where children died at rates several times above the national average. The Pope's apology won't heal their losses and trauma, but it's the acknowledgement they've long sought that the church was complicit in their abuse. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Washington.